Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on problem solving with combining ratios involving lengths. Let's read the question. The points A, B, C and D lie in order on a straight line. The ratio of the length of AB to BD is 11 to 10 and the ratio of the length of AC to CD is 5 to 2. And we want to work out the ratio of AB to BC to CD. Now the best way to do this is to visualise it by drawing a kind of line with A, B, C and D on it, as per the first line of this question. And it doesn't matter that they might not be spaced in the same ratio as these numbers here, but we're going to put the numbers on it. So we're told the ratio of AB, so that's this one, AB to BD, so B to D is from here to here, that's B to D, is 11 to 10. So let's put that on there, that's 11 to 10. And we're told the ratio of A to C, so AC to CD, which is this number here, is 5 to 2. So that's 5 to 2. And we want to work out the ratio of AB to BC to CD. Now the trick with this is to actually turn these ratios into actual lengths, let's say like in centimetres. Now at the moment these ratios are not consistent because um, if say this was 11 centimetres and 10 centimetres, that would be 21 centimetres, so that's 21 parts. And if that was 5 centimetres and 2 centimetres, that would be 7 centimetres. That's not the same as 21, but we can say that's 7 parts in this ratio. And in order to make these exactly consistent, we just need to have the same number of parts. Now, we could just times that 7 by 3, and then it would become 21, so consistent with that. So we just need to times those lengths of, say, 5 centimetres and 2 centimetres by 3, and then it will give us a total length of 21 centimetres, just like, like up here. So we do that. So we've got A, B, C, D. That's 21 parts, so we'll keep that as it is. So this, so A to B is, say, 11. We can call it 11 centimetres at this stage, but we could just say 11. The unit doesn't matter. To BD is 10, so we're going to actually call it 10 centimetres. So then that total length would be 21 centimetres. And then we said to make this 7 into 21 centimetres, we're going to times these each by 3. So times that by 3 to get to 21, times that by 3, times that by 3. So therefore A to C, which is what this arrow is, A to C is now 15 centimetres. And 2 times 3 is 6 centimetres. And now these total lengths top and bottom are consistent because that's 21 centimetres, that's 21 centimetres, but it's nice because both these lengths here and these lengths are in these original ratios, so we haven't corrupted the question at all. But because we've now got consistent total lengths, it's much easier to see the individual lengths of AB to BC to CD. Now, let's use our common sense here. A to C, that is 15 centimetres, but A to B on its own is 11 centimetres. So if that is 11 centimetres here, that means B to C must be 15 minus 11, which is 4 centimetres. That works. 11 plus 4 is 15. A to C is 15. And then we can do the same over here. If B to C is 4 centimetres, what do we add C to D to get to 10 centimetres? Well, it's clearly 6 centimetres. Oh, well, we've already got the six centimetres. Sorry, it was already there. Um, and that means we're done, because now we've got AB to BC to CD is equal to AB is 11. Let's drop the unit now, because the unit was never there in the first place, to B to C, which is 4, to CD, which is 6. Can we simplify that? No, we can't. So that is the final answer.